This is the 15th rune in the Elder Futhark and the Anglo Frisian Futhark, and it's the 16th and final rune in the Younger Futhark. The rune has preserved its original place in the Futhark, but probably due to a change in its sound value and appearance, it fell to last place in the Younger Futhark. In Old Germanic, this rune represented the Z sound, as in the modern English zebra, which was common on the end of words in Old Germanic. You may have noticed it on the end of reconstructed rune names, but in Old English and Old Norse, this noun ending was no longer used, so the rune no longer served a practical purpose. In the Younger Futhark, the rune would have gone extinct, but it was adopted to give, at first, the sound value r, somewhere between a z and a r, and later it instead represents the sound value u, not a common sound in modern English, but present in the French word tu. To represent this sound, it was flipped upside down from its original bearing. In Old English, it is adopted to refer to the x sound, as in the modern English axe. It's also used on St. Cuthbert's coffin to write the abbreviation of Jesus Christ in runes, where it acts as a substitute for the Greek letter chi. The Old English rune poem partially names this rune elk, but this is only part of a compound word which is used to create the x sound which doesn't occur at the beginning of words. The rune's name is elk sedge, a type of sharp grass. Elk sedge usually dwells in a marsh, Growing in the water, it gives grievous wounds, staining with blood every man who lays a hand on it. From this, the rune's Elder Futhark name has been reconstructed as Algis. This is nothing short of a guess. We don't remotely know what its name may have been. In the Old Icelandic and Old Norwegian poems, the rune is named Ur, meaning you, as in the tree. When the 13th rune was dropped from the Futhark, it's likely that this rune inherited the old rune's name, so as to give it a sound value which needed representing. The old Icelandic rune poem says, Ur bent bow and brittle iron, a giant of the arrow. The old Norwegian says, Ur is the greenest of trees in winter. It is wont to crackle when it burns. The old Norwegian refers, like the old English Eo rune, to the wood's usefulness in burning, and the Old Icelandic refers to the tree's usefulness for crafting bows and arrow shafts. It's interesting to note that hunting was not performed in Iceland, and yew trees did not grow there. Its remembrance in the rune poem is a reminder that this information could be remembered and recalled long after it was relevant, if it were culturally impactful. Thanks for watching. On the right, there's a playlist of other rune videos. On the left, you can learn about runes in general. You can subscribe for more videos or follow me on Twitter at GuthLackYT.